Hi everybody, welcome to another Harry Fuss Radio. Gretchen is here, and today we're going to be looking at Comfy UI Pool ID Flux. And uh, we will put a link in the description to the GitHub and to the description. We'll <laughs> but ain't, and essentially, if you don't know what Pool ID is, Pool ID is a face swapper that will replace faces for you, and it does a lot of other things. We wanted to do this because being integrated with Flux is pretty a bit, it's a big deal for us, for everyone. So it's really easy to spell. You just copy this um, git clone, and then you would put this into your Comfy UI custom notes folder, open up a CNB prompt, and encase this, and it'll install the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the clone here. And then you want to make sure you run the requirements text files so it'll run anything else it needs to, to um, support it. A couple of models you want to download. You probably already have Flux 1 dev. You want to make sure you put that into your unit folder. And also have the VAE and the VAE folder. And I'm sure you have that as well. Cool ID Flux has a pre trained model which goes into the models slash pull ID folder. I'm going to get that right here. And then there's an Eva clip that you should download. It should download, but I bit manually and make sure you download from this link here. And then that goes into your models slash clip. Now pull ID does require insight face. And I know a lot of people are having problems with the insight face, but it's fairly simple. If you guys want a video on how to fix all these insight face errors, let us know. But your Samsung one that install um, download inside face and put the antelope v2 into the models folder into models folder and make sure all the files are there so once you have that downloaded and everything in you can open comp ui and start up pull ib all right here's the workflow that we have um this will be downloaded this will be uploaded to our google drive so that you can download it for free it's a pull ID flux workflow with a um, Florence 2 prop HLR and a Comfy UI custom node to text replace. So we're going to start off with the load image right here, Chara. And this will be the main image. It's going to pull a prompt from this. This is going to both be Florence 2. And it's going to come up with a pretty detailed description. And we had it the text replace because if you wanted to change the different elements in the photo, you can't. So if you want to take the brown hair and make it blue, you can just have it look for brown and just have it replace it with blue and so on and do whatever you want with this. So the pull ID, uh, the performance to prompt will actually type out a prompt and uh, do any text replace that's going to, um, be done fairly quickly and then you have your load diffusion model which would be flux one dev your dual clip loader which is a t5 bubble light cell and the clip l which is pretty standard and then your bae which is the flux vae we're going to come down to the pull id flux enhanced nodes and this is going to be run cuda as we have nvidia card and then there is also a loading the flux model, which is that pre-trained model that you downloaded initially. Make sure that's loaded up and be Eva clip right here. All that is then going to go into, well, before you add your flux guidance, which is the empty weight and image, the image size. And there is a little uh, upscale here, but the, well, I'll show you later on our upscale method that's going into an apply ProLine flux which takes everything and puts it all together. Weight is at one, go start at point 0.4 and end at one. And mean is a fusion, you can also use Concat or whatever else you want it to use. Now this is the image face. So you're lowering the image of the face you want on that image over there. So you're gonna have load an image here and that's going to uh, load up into some sampler custom advanced, add some noise, and all that is going to go into our upscale, real quick upscale with using Ultra Sharp and the upscale model. So once you have all that done, prompt's done, you prompt, you're going to come up with this image. 
and you see how it did take the face. I put it on the model. It did replace the brown with the blue. And it took overall, the overall contact, overall feel of the original picture. So we would try something else real quick. Let's do, um, hmm. Now let's do this one. And then that's going to be the base image. And we're going to replace blonde with um, green, I guess. Neon green. How about man green? Ed, yeah, neon green works. And it'll give her neon green hair. And hit OK, then we will get rid of this stuff. Just so you can even add more if you want to, but for this demonstration, we're actually going to use this. So now we have to find, if I can find a face to add on to this image, initial image. Let's see what we can find. Oops. So would you guys to demo this, try it out, experiment with this. Make sure you like uh, and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully we'll have more video, more videos come up soon. Uh, and again, you can download this work for, for free. We don't charge anything for our channel. And make sure you let us know what you think on another AI Fuzz video. This is cool, cool ID Flux, and it's pretty darn cool. See you guys later. Great to miss out, Mike.